Alright, so today I got you guys the part 3 of 10 things good and smart zombie players do. And trust me, some of the comments I got from you are spicy AF. And I'm so glad that you guys have been enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy making them. I'm always trying to mix things up like, hey, 10 things noobs do, weapon comparisons, 10 things to do to randoms to know them real good, words to best, live streams here and there, and your guys' support has been just, oh, absolutely love ya, and I cannot thank you enough for that. And that's why I like to feature some of you in every single one of my video and I will continue to do that and if somehow you're new to the channel hey make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but we got 10 more things pro zombie players do and this is not a top 10 but 10 things videos and we already went through 20 other things in the previous episodes I'll link it down in the comments or in the description as well and let me tell you today what I joined by my my boy uh, Carlos who's gonna come in with all the pro stuff he evolved from being Bob but Carlos is a professional zombie player and let me tell you the first two things I got on the list are some of my own but I want to make sure that I feature your guys comments and everything like that but coming in at our number 10 spot we're talking about this thing called I'm gonna join the game and I'm gonna hit shit up now what I mean by this is that Carlos will start playing mob of the dead guess what he's gonna play and then he's gonna keep on playing cuz god damn now what I mean by this is that he will make sure he opened the double points door and guess what he's not gonna stop there he knows this is very important. He will make sure all the zombies come out, and as soon as all the zombies come out, he will actually go towards it, and he will grab that double point. Yes, he will grab that, and guess what? He will go 8 shots on those bozo, and then he will finish the zombie uh, with a ba. And guys, trust me, Carlos' game is professional AF. He got game. Let me tell you. Now coming in at our number 9 spot, we're talking about this thing called getting monkey bumps before you jump in the Eisendrach boss fight. Now it doesn't matter if you're playing solo or with 2 players or 3 players, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Uh, if, you're, if you're playing even with 4 players, like, the thing is, Carlos got game. He will make sure he spend 50k points, 100k points, million points, it doesn't matter to him. He will make sure he get monkey bumps. That's it. Mama Sita, he will make sure he get monkey bumps to be in the boss fight because he understand that if somehow he needs it somehow he's about to go down he will toss them and then he will finish the game up with a ba and he will get that easter egg completion because Carlos is all about satisfaction he's all about accomplishing his goals and uh, no one can stop Carlos I mean not not even Bob not even Bob even if he got Bob in his game he will make sure Bob get that completion as well because he's a professional he's a good guy he will let you have the bows and everything like that he will run with the MR6 upgraded N without upgraded let's just say the normal MR6 but he will get that Easter egg completed but coming in at our number eight spot now this comment is coming from my boy once again I always like to call everyone my boy because hey I like to honor them I like to show respect god damn uh, but I don't know him but he's my boy regardless all right if you have a problem don't come at me all right don't come at me very important because you're gonna be my boy as well now we have ice Phoenix challenges who says if pro players have a wonder weapon they primarily going to use a SMG or shotgun, etc. I really like your videos. Keep up the good work. Gave you a sub. God damn, man. I appreciate it. And I get your point. And believe me, Carlos gets it too. He got game. You already know, right? But the thing is, in Black Ops 3, you can even run assault rifles because they are lightweight as well. But uh, uh, Carlos, what he got? He got a wonder weapon. Let's just give him like everything. Like, let, let's say he got the blunder gas. Fully upgraded, fully pack punch in 2017. You know what I'm saying? He got game. He got that, and guess what? On the secondary, he got the Tommy gun. Tommy gun fully upgraded, fully packed, and you already know it's a wall gun, so points, or I mean, uh, ammo is not even a problem. Carlos got game, and let's say he's playing with Bob, all right? And you already know Bob, like, he doesn't know. He doesn't give a F. Like, he just want to get in and get out clean, and uh, it doesn't matter if he got 100 downs. It doesn't matter if he got 200 downs. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he survives round 10 or 20 or 1 or 2, right? But uh, he just just want to play with Carlos and Carlos he's a smart zombie player he's a good player guess what he's gonna run a wonder weapon and he will run something light so he can train efficiently and everything like that and if Bob needs help hey Carlos is always there Carlos got electric cherry he got afterlife he got uh, margarita he will go ahead
dead and he will revive every time Bob goes down. And guess what? If Bob goes down, Carlos don't give a F. He will also give him something good. Let's say Blunder Get. He will make sure he make that free Blunder Get and he'll make sure he give that to Bob so Bob don't go down or Bob can play the, the, the zombies and enjoy the zombies as well. But coming in at our number 7 spot, I got my boy Elise Storm who says, Skizzleaxe, if you do a part 3, he says, if I play a public match, if I get the fire cell gobblegum, I tell all the teammates to get to the box location and trust me, Carlos always do this. Carlos got game. You already know what I'm saying. Now, as soon as Carlos get like a Immolation Liquidation Gobblegum, or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he gets that or not. As soon as he sees that Fire Cell Gobblegum shining uh, in front of his eyes, he will just go ahead. He will go bozo. He will make sure he do a call out. He will be like, guys, very important. You must go to a box location right now. It's important. Get your ass there. And Bob will be like, okay, I got a goal. But guess what? Carlos will be like, you don't. Oh, no, you come with me. But Carlos will do a call out because to him, it, it, it's all about being professional and everything like that, basically. But coming in at our number six spot, I got the Lolanator T1000 who says two things, and the second one, and you guys can see, we already have discussed about it, you know what I'm saying? But the first one, he says, What about the guy who doesn't run for the nuke on early round and waits till the end of the round? And let me tell you, Bob. Ain't got no game, but Carlos do. It's very important you know this, and I know I, I said this million times already, and you better believe I will say this, I will repeat the shit out of it a billion times, Till you get this because this is very important. Bob ain't got no game, but Carlos do. Very important. Now, the thing is, uh, Carlos, uh, whatever is in front of him, he will take a moment to observe. Like, let's say something actually spawned him in front of him. It's very shiny. Bob is tempted, but Carlos is not. Carlos will, Bob, you, you hold on, okay? Let me observe, okay? He will observe. For two seconds, he will do all those sort of calculations. He will absorb or absorb the information. That's important to him, right? He will absorb the information. He will calculate. He will be like, okay, what round are we on? Okay, round 10. Should we take it? Bob will be very tempted. Bob will just say ye. But uh, Carlos, he will be like, no, we need to make sure we're uh, towards the end of the round. And guess what? As soon as the round is about to end, uh, he will take that drop. It doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If it's a, a nuke, of course, he will take it. Of course he need points, he need uh, everything like that, and of course, uh, the goal is he want to make sure Bob gets uh, more point and he gets the ultimate enjoyment out of this, because of course, everything to Bob is super, super shiny, and whatever is shiny to Bob, uh, Carlos want to make sure that he grabs it, so uh, because he's tempted, so he get more sort of kind of like fun out of it, if you know what I'm saying, you probably know what I'm saying, but coming in at our number 5 spot, we got my boy Inside Ghost, uh, who says, yeah, thanks for putting me in, hey, no problem, my man, me amigo, you know what I'm saying? He says, yeah, thanks for putting me in. I couldn't check it out because my YouTube was glitched. But one thing I know good players do is uh, pull off clutches like with four Panzers, Origins, or the Rise and the Ride. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, charging at them and uh, they, they stay calm because uh, that's the key to zombies. Stay calm. And guys, I, I want you guys to understand. Bob ain't got no game, but Carlos do. Very important. And uh, the thing is, Carlos know when and how to stay calm. If you have seen the McGregor versus Mayweather, I was saying this on my live stream that uh, Mayweather knows how to stay calm. And guess what, Mama Sita, Papa Bless. I was just watching the fight. Uh, even if McGregor win, I would be happy. But Mayweather won. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I respect the hustle. I respect everyone's grind. I wish everyone success. I wish everyone. I I'm not even sure why we're going this deep. But what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, Bob is never calm, but my boy Carlos is always calm. Carlos has mastered the skill and pro players, the thing about pro players is that they always know how to master a skill and being calm when you're like red screen, when you know there's a panther in front of you, it's very important and uh, that's one of the beautiful quality of my Niba, Carlos. But coming in at our number 4 spot, now I got my boy Dragonair Shadow Gaming, once again he's my boy, you know what I'm saying, but uh, he says pro dawn knife on round 50 when there's an insta kill. Why I'm tapping my table a little slow right now compared to my normal uh, slap or attempts is because I don't want my table to break. But he's so right. Carlos, he will never knife zombies on round 50, especially if he got insta kill because he understands the fact that uh, he can actually buy any gun off of the wall and he can shoot those zombies and it's gonna be much faster. It's gonna be fast as FB and uh, he can also throw grenades, he can also throw trip mines that will get the job done for him. He he 
doesn't need, he doesn't need to go around and knife zombies on round 50 because uh, he's Carlos, he got game, right? But Bob, guess what, he will always do that. That's one of the things we were talking about in, uh, I, I believe, in part 2 or part 3 of 10 Things Noobs 2. I'm not totally sure, but you guys check it out. But what I'm trying to say, Carlos got game and he will make sure to never knife zombies. And that's one of the beautiful quality of pro zombie players. His username is the PhD Gamer, and he says, I pause before I die and turn off my system to save Gobblegums. And trust me, that El Lamau emoji is like not even funny anymore because uh, uh, the thing about Carlos is that Carlos is very smart. He got game, you already know what I'm saying. Uh, and as soon as he's about to die, as soon as he got red screen, and as soon as uh, he knows or he realizes he ain't got no quick revive or let's say he's playing with Bob and Bobby you know what I'm saying he's playing with four people in total including himself right and he realized everyone went down and he's red screen guess what he's not gonna pause he will directly close application but if it's playing solo and he got red screen and he got no uh, quick revive he knows that was the last one and he's on round 100 because the thing about Carlos is that he doesn't run out of quick revive like on round 10 or 20 or 30 or 50 doesn't matter to him right uh, he can get to round 100 very easily and uh, he's on round 200, let's say 1000, um, okay I'm exaggerating, uh, but let's say round um, 200, right? He has lost all of his quick revives and he's on his last one, he's red screen. And uh, guess what, he's gonna pause his games, he's gonna be super calm because remember we uh, just talked about that, Carlos, he has mastered that skill. He's calm, he's on round 200, lost all of the quick revives, but he got game. He will pause it and he will turn off his system and he will go to sleep and guess what? He just saved all of his gobblegums, man. But coming in at our number two spot, we have my boy Mass Gamer 978 Now, first of all, before I even read what he says, I just want to say long life, bro. I, I wish you the best. Live a long, healthy, goddamn life because what you just said is absolutely true. Like, Mama Sita, Papa Bless, give me all of it in the chat, in the comments. You know what I'm saying. Uh, he says, good players don't need gobblegums to get to a high round and smart players use certain gobblegums for certain games like my boy is very specific although uh, he hasn't even said like a single gobblegum name but he's like they use certain gobblegums for certain games very important very important now Carlos got game right uh, and he will only use certain gobblegums for certain games uh, like for example he knows like for certain maps he doesn't need perkaholic and it's very important because the thing is uh, to get you a high round Bob needs gobblegums but Carlos don't need any of it but for certain games he will still choose certain gobblegums like for example the classic one in plain sight anywhere but here all chemical for some maps maybe he'll get self mad or perkaholic right just so he can do stuff fast and maybe he'll get like shopping free to open up the map on round one you, you probably get the idea like Carlos don't need it but he will actually use it to enhance his experience and save himself some uh, extra time that he probably would have wasted without those gobblegums because he got like hundreds of them like Ayo, he, he has been playing for a long ass time right so Carlos got game that's what I'm trying to say but coming in at our number one spot you already know I like to hit you guys up with the buy and everything like that like I have countless time you already know what I'm saying uh, now I have my boy once again rain down 255 now he says the realest shit ever, right? I have never seen a homeboy say something like this. Like, this is crazy. This is like on the next level. Now, my boy says pros would get a double points before popping the extra credit. Now, I'm gonna end this video right here, guys. Uh, check out some other videos on the screen right now. Subscribe if you haven't to be new. Smash a like if you did enjoy this video. And guys, it's very important you get double points and then pop extra credit because it's gonna double them down as well. It's very important. Carlos already know this uh, because he got game, but uh, I, I guess I'll see you in the next one.